Morton Kittler, debutant director, goes out and takes to reappraise Baran Tirumani's Tadam, a 2018 Tamil movie, and adaptation, mind you, because I'm told there are changes in those narrative and in the script. First, let's deal with what really works for the movie. The length of the movie works. It's a short film. It's a whodunit that doesn't go beyond two hours. A whodunit for two hours is as much as time that would keep people in their seats engaged and interested on why and who's. Anything beyond this becomes boring and dreary. I said this elsewhere and I'll say it again that who done it in India normally suffer. We don't have the skill set of uh, making good who done it. Remember the Gumnams and the Vokavantis where music somewhere got the better of the narrative. We don't have an Alfred Hitchcock in our cinema. Yes, we've made some brilliant suspense thrillers like Dun, Kamosh, come to my mind. I'm sure there are a few more, but very few and far between. We've also had a girl on the train recently, Pariniti Chopra, uh, adaptation of Agatha Christie. But Indian stories, Indian milieu, few and far between. So Gumrah is a welcome addition to that small list of good whodunits in Indian cinema. Story begins with Aditya Roy Kapoor entering the house of one Akash Sadam, a yapi. And uh, we see him being killed. A gruesome murder. And you see Aditya Roy Kapoor stab somebody with a screwdriver on the neck and blood losing, etc. But after this, there's nothing much gruesome in the film. So, as a suspense film, the template is not one of being scary. There's not Ramsey brothers. What happens with the film is that you come to realize that they are lookalikes. Arjun, a very successful architect who's just launching his first sale promotion of his flats, who's seeing his girlfriend Jahanvi, played by Vedika Pinto. And you also have a lumpen element in Ronnie, again Aditya Roy Kapoor. And you realize that one of them is obviously the killer. Enter an investigating team headed by ACP Yadav, Donit Roy, and a special inspector in charge, Shivani Mathur, Mridan Thakur. Now, as the narrative goes, you realize that Shivani believes that the killer is Roni, while Yadav is enthusiastic of framing Arjun. You have a small side story as to why Ronan is bent upon getting Arjun to jail, but that comes in much later. It's a very small but reasonable story that comes in as a byline to this undercurrent of dislike between Yadav and Arjun. What makes the story very interesting is that the clues that come seem to point out and both the people, they are lookalikes and therefore the police have a huge job on hand. If this be not enough, the forensic laboratory mucks up and then they are shocked and then they are surprised and then boom. I'm not going to tell you anything more because that could be plain spot spot. I'd once again like to take my hats off to Vardhan Ketkar for sticking to a clean, tight, taut script. He ensures that he's not doing too much. He has a narrative which is focused. He's dealing with two lookalikes. And 
building up various props and turns and twists which leave the viewer engrossed to find out who could be the killer and why. Film obviously when you have somebody playing a double role, the film centers around the person and his performance but I'll come there later. Rohit Roy as the ACP is stiff, upper lip, quite suited to his role and performs. Mrinal Thakur, somewhere to me, looks like she's just walked out of a, the Telugu movie which was very successful. She's got a dazed look throughout the film. As an inspector, we're so used to seeing Shefali Chaya in Delhi Crimes. We'd like to see somebody like that. She looks dazed. Definitely more was expected and this is dead. As I said, the film belongs to Anjum and Ronnie played by Aditya Roy Kapoor. I often wonder why things don't work out at the box office for Aditya as a should. Good actor. He's got the good uh, he to use the politically incorrect statement. He's also a nepo kid and has the wherewithal to carry a role. He's well built. He's uh, got his six packs in place. He doesn't get into the typical templates of contrasting and all that. Doesn't go overboard. Very balanced performance. And I would believe that Gumra reiterates Aditya Roy Kapoor as a good actor, a bankable actor. I don't know if the box office, but from a script and a film director's level, definitely bankable. I definitely recommend people to go and watch Gumra because it's interesting because it's not very time consuming and it keeps you engrossed as long as the film is going. And above all, there's a nice polished double role for the first time performance from Aditya Roy Kapoor. Sign off with acknowledgements as ever to Abhinav and Tatu. Good viewing to all of you and hope to hear from you. On that note, bye-bye.